Well, I'm nearly done with this arrow making machine. I got it all mounted, got my blocks mounted, got my changeable inserts made. I decided I needed to put a steel plate here to put a magnet base and an indicator on it for, for when I'm adjusting from one size shaft to the next. Because it's such a minute adjustment. To go from a 2364 dia diameter shaft to an 1132 diameter shaft, the total diameter change is 0 0.0156. But you only have you you only move your cut your shaft over into the cutter half that distance because you're cutting all the way around the shaft. So I would have to be able to move this thing 7.8 thousandths of an inch to reduce it to that next diameter of shaft from 2364 to 1132. And I'm trying to uh, be able to fine tune the shafts that I'm making, the spine on them to match my bow. Let me show you this end down here, how I will be adjusting it in and out. First of all, I made another nut down here out of the same material to hold the whip guide to keep the shafts from spinning and whipping and breaking when they come through. They shouldn't spin too much anyway because you want them straight, but when you're spinning them with a drill, they will start whipping. I took a piece of threaded, all thread, and bolted it onto here real tight. And then when I want to adjust it, I will loosen this, and then I'll adjust this end in and out from here, watching my dial indicator, my stare at dial indicator that's set against the angle iron right at the cutter so I can adjust it in exactly the amount I need. Hopefully it'll work. But I've got, let me see, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. I stamped 11 30 seconds because that's the diameter of that hole. I uh, drilled it, reamed it, and chamfered the hole. Right here is 21 64ths, 5 16 The ones in the the ones that I've already got inserted, this is the half inch that will accept the 3 8 square. And this one over here is 23 64. I have put a shop vac attachment that I can scoot right in there and hook a shop vac on the other end of it to try to eliminate a lot of the chips that are going to be flying from this operation. We'll see if that works. Let me show you my little chart I got set up. Right there's the chart that I got nailed to the side here, tacked down. 2364 is 0.3594. 11 30 seconds is 3438. There's a difference between those two of 0.0156 divided by 2 because I only want to move half that distance comes out to that. And I've got that for each size as I reduce size on the shaft. Of course, let me back you up here. When I'm doing my shaft making, the indicator will be off of there and out of the way. On the next video, I think we'll go over selecting a piece of wood to make arrows out of, and we will start making a few. I have to order some things to actually finish and fletch an arrow, but uh, we'll get some shafts made and get them reduced down to the right spine weight and go over some other things. Hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks for watching.